couple of years back I had a property that I wanted to put some cameras in so I thought well I'll just go buy a few cameras and um, install them on the property should be no problem um, but as I looked into it I found that there really wasn't anything that met my needs everything out there was really hard to install it was cumbersome it was uh, unreliable and it required cabling so it was really not practical the cabling can be very expensive uh, when you have a property that maybe is 100, 200 feet uh, to the camera, it can literally cost tens of thousands of dollars. Looking at these needs, I came up with a product that would obviate the need for cabling completely by eliminating both the power cable and the data cable. So there's no cabling at all required for the camera. You could put it anywhere you needed to put it, move it around, it didn't require permitting and it was basically an instant install. I did this by radically reducing the power needed to transmit a wireless, high quality wireless uh, video stream and by doing so allowed the camera to run off practical size solar panels. We have other security cameras, they, um, but they're all on the building. So we have a need for a camera from a completely different viewpoint across the parking lot and other than tearing up the parking lot and running a line out to the lamp post that it's on, uh, this camera filled the bill perfectly. The beauty of this particular camera too, it integrated perfectly with our existing little security system. Uh, the installation was almost a non-event. It was a matter of going up on a pole and mounting and adjusting the angles, turning it on and it worked. The problem that's been ex experienced with Wi-Fi is loss of data. So for example, a data packet lost in transmission, which for a web browser is fine, is not for surveillance. You lose that packet, you've lost that video frame. Loss of the video frame means surveillance in the real-time world doesn't work. The two antennas on the camera, 2.4 gigahertz is a traditional Wi-Fi band. Our antenna is larger than you'll find on a traditional 2.4 gigahertz camera. It has greater range. The 900 megahertz is actually designed to penetrate pretty much any material which allows the camera to be controlled from a distance. That's the big distinction between a traditional Wi-Fi camera and a MicroPower camera. Command from one channel, data from the other. Important component of the camera is the solar capability. There are three separate solar cells on top of the camera. They're actually designed that way so that each cell can function if one is in darkness or in the shadow. The cells produce about 10 times more power than the camera needs at its highest drain point and the camera will function even in total darkness for a period of time due to the batteries internally. The hub is actually the component that talks to the camera and the camera talks to the hub. To ensure a clear Wi-Fi signal, the hub actually sniffs the air to see if there's a Wi-Fi transmission in process. If there is, it waits. If not, it asks the camera immediately to send the frame. This is what allows us to function in a friendly manner in a crowded environment. And in turn, the hub hands on the data into a traditional network allowing us to support existing commercial VMS devices. This hub and this camera were actually deployed in February of 2011 in probably the worst environment that our system will ever encounter. We have about 120 access points and we're in a steel tower block, two areas where Wi-Fi particularly fails to function. This camera and hub have been functioning together reliably since February and you can see it on this VMS screen camera actually functioning. The camera is about 800 feet away from the hub going through a mylar window. Again, probably one of the worst environments we could place it. The applications for the technology we've seen are uh, manifold. Uh, obvious ones such as infrastructure protection, parking lot, um, perimeter security, but we've also been amazed at other ideas that we've seen come in in terms of other applications that have not been addressed with what's out there. So uh, we think that there are many, many more applications that we haven't even thought about and our customers haven't thought about. Uh, so there's a great opportunity. We'd be very happy to do a complimentary assessment of your needs or contact your local system integrator and ask for MicroPower and you'd be amazed at what, what's possible.